Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be me showing you all how to make a live event like what I did for my game. So I'm going to just delete that and uh, we'll keep. I mean, one, two of them gone. So, first of all, make a like, make an empty game object, put whatever model you want to animate in it. If you want it to be collidable and a mesh collider, stuff like that. Anyways, you go into my Discord, yes. You would go to roles, you're gonna click this here, right? Doesn't show up here, but you wanna click that. You scroll down here, right? Scroll down, down, down. Oh, you might also have to right click on this and click show all channels. You would go into find game help. And the bottom you would find live event. Okay, you download that script, place it into your game. You're gonna click here and you're going to live of what is it? Uh, I need to actually find it real quick. What was it called? Okay, time. There, yeah, time-based object toggle. Right, I'm gonna be honest. This was made by ChatGPT. Okay. Anyways, secondly. You rock it, you want to duplicate, okay, disable this one, or whatever model you want animated for the live event. This can only work with one item, so you might want to do some stuff. So I'm just going to put animated on it so it's easier to do in the future, okay. I'm going to remove the collider off that, you want to go to animation, create. Then you're gonna make go into animations, whatever you've got. Save. Okay, I'm just gonna put this as event example. Okay. Now I'm gonna animate it. So you click here, and I'm just gonna go to like one second, and I'm just gonna make it go up in one second, zoom out a bit, and then it's gonna go in three seconds. It's gonna go. Oh, all the way over there, I guess. Okay. Just stop recording that. Go off that, okay. You can go off animation. Now, live event. So, object to disable is what you want to disable when the event starts. So, you're going to put the, like, stand, the idle. Also, turn that off. Disable that. You want the idle thing that isn't animated as the thing that's object to disable. Object to enable is the animated one. You want to set the date. You want to set the time, so I'm going to... This would be in 24 hours, so we'll do... As this is recorded in uh, UTC, I'm pretty sure. We're going to do it in that, for example. Uh, duration that the event happens for, so... We'll just put 5 seconds. Then, for a countdown, alright? You want to do create 3D object, text mesh pro, bring it over here, okay. I would personally set the text to be sooner along the lines of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This just gives you a better example of what the uh, script will be showing it as. Place that wherever you want. You put that in here, then when you play, in 5 minutes, it should... Actually, no, it won't do it because I've got the date wrong. I forgot about that. It's date, it's year, month, and day. I've got the date wrong. I just forgot. 25th, and we're going to move the time down to maybe 22 when it will happen. So, uh, yeah, once your event ends, everything you've got connected there, there, and there will all be just deleted well they'll be disabled so see we've got the countdown going okay countdown has started you can scale that text as much as you want that will show hours minutes and seconds so then you can also add things to make that look at the player I made a video on how to make things look at the player so you can follow that and then you'll get it. 
But anyways, we'll see the little effect go on here. So then this disables. Rocket goes up and then it flings up into the sky. We'll just keep doing the animation until five seconds. Then we're done. And that's it. That's the entire system done. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you need help, go into my Discord and just put uni put something in Unity help. You can ping at Fan Game Helper. You can ping them and you'll get info. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.